Hey guys, welcome back. So we have created content fragments and now we will see how can we utilize them. This is just data for us. Data for us, we understand it. So uh, for example, if this is my author and if I just want to preview this data, this is nothing but the data I am having. Now I want to utilize this data, right? Go to Adobe Experience Manager, Tools and inside general, we, I sh we should see this GraphQL query editor. This is a built in out of the box editor um, with the latest AEM version as cloud as service. It's already there. Previously, we used to uh, deploy one content package, but now it's not needed. Once we click on it, we'll see uh, a beautiful um, UI and uh, this side we'll see the endpoints this is the endpoint we have created graphql demo final endpoint and if you see, don't see a, your if you don't see a, your endpoint it means there is some problem with the endpoint creation uh, so just select this one so this is how we can select the endpoint and here we have persisted queries will i will cover what is what do we mean by persisted queries uh, here uh, on the go runtime we can put our query and we can run it okay on the go we can use the control space key bar to have list of i mean options available which we want to query if you want to beautify beautify the query what we have written history is just uh, to check what uh, queries i have run in the past it will give me the list save as once we are done with our query i mean we are ready with our query we can save it and then it will again uh, will be added to my uh, endpoint as a persistent query here i can pass some query variable if i want to pass any dynamic variable within my query i can pass it and i can see the result this is the result uh, console where uh, when i will run the query i will get the result here and uh, the right hand side we have the document explorer here we can search our schema but uh, the by default we see the something called query query type if i click on the query type i'll see there are few fields available to my endpoint which are nothing but the content fragment models i have created for each content fragment model there will be two fields so for example i had created three content fragment models one is book another one is author and the third one is uh, editors so book book by path book list editors by path editors list author by path and authors list so uh, whenever we'll create any content fragment model and we will enable it for any uh, graphql endpoint we'll see two fields available for each content fragment model that's that is to understand um, now <coughs> this side i can i can create the query and i can run it and if I'll just, let me just de delete everything. I'll just put curly braces and I'll just use control space. Now thing to understand for each content fragment model uh, and the query types fields I have, I see those options available here. For example, book by path, editor by path, author by path, then book list, editor list, author list, and few extra variable. Now, if I want to run any query, for example, I just want to get <laughs> Sorry for that. All the authors. I just, it is very simple. I'll just need to, what information I want to get. For example, I just want to maybe just get the path of all the author list. I will just run this query. And I should see it. So I have created um, two content fragments for using the author content fragment model. And the path is this. So for, for example, if I want to maybe run this query, I'll just delete it. Maybe this time I want to run it for book. So I'll just go with book list. So book by path is I want to get any data on a specified path. And book list is I want to iterate and I, I'll, I want to get all data at once. Okay. Terms. 
So these are the two books using uh, book content fragment model I have created. So stay connected. In the next videos, we will see uh, how can we use the the list type and the path type. And there are uh, multiple options available. For example, I can filter the data. I can create my query. I can create my own function and I can pass the variable. We will see. So stay connected. Thank you so much for watching.